Hello, it is Tuesday, September 11th, 2012, at 11.43 p.m. Central Time. And I wanted to show you something interesting that I found. Earlier I watched a video um, that Dutch Sense had favorited Southwest this week, What Is That Smell? I'll put a link to it. But anyway, it's just about the um, south, Southwest Riverside on Monday morning was, was getting some foul smells. And they were thinking that it's possibly connected to the Salton Sea, which is right here where we had all those earthquakes. Oh, I think it was last week. But anyway, so I, I went to Next Rad Radar here, and something really interesting is happening. I'm not sure if you can see it, but up here on this, to the north of the Salton Sea, there's a little town called Mecca. And once this loop starts over, which is now, you can see right here, see that hot spot? It just stays there. And then it starts drifting down. But in the meantime, down here, we got a plume where something's rising up, and they meet in the middle. Wait till it goes over again. And that, this is the beginning of the loop. Let's see there. And right here, this plume starts up. It's in the middle. I've been watching this for a little while, so the earliest I started watching the loop was at 11.53 Universal Time on September 11th. And that little hot spot stays there through 15.28 Universal Time. And then at 1815 Universal Time is when this little plume starts rising up. And the clouds collide at 2103 Universal Time. And I went and found, this is an interstate, see where there's a bend here? And then here's Arizona where it kind of comes around. And so I looked and this little thing rises up. I don't think I can zoom in on this, so I'm not even sure if you could see it. I went and found something that could be the source. I'll show you in just a minute. But also, I did an earlier video about, I'll see if I can find it, showing on Wonder Map, these pulses, these hot spots that run up and down the railroad tracks. Oh, I can't remember the name of the little town that they're coming out nearby, but I'll put that in the description below the video. But right before this thing rises up, actually, there's like a volley of signals that come out. And then they volley again when the, when the clouds meet. And then after the... You, the terminator beam goes through, they go the same thing. See, they're going and now it's rising up. It meets, see the little volleys down in here? And then there was a whole nother series of them there. So this is like a continuing thing. And the Doppler is way down here, so, and the volleys are running this way, so I'm not sure. You know, someone was saying the signal goes out and hits the track, but the track's way up in here. And this is Yuma, by the way, Yuma, Arizona. So I went to Google Earth and found some interesting things also while I was looking around. The initiation point of those, um, well, let's go back out a minute, I'm sorry. So here's the bend in the interstate, right, where this eight is. And then here's where Arizona comes around right here. So you come in here and you come up here. And the only thing I thought was very, oh, I thought it was odd anyway. Maybe if someone knows what it is, it's not so odd. Oh, here it is, right up here. They have this um, circle things in the dirt. And out of something. Um, it looks like there's lines going around. I don't know. I'll put a... Um, a link, to, I'll show you on Google Earth where it is. I'll put the coordinates so you can go find it. But I followed this, the road that goes up to the north, it looks like. But the problem is it just dead. I mean, it just stops. Right here. Well, it circles around. Maybe it's a race. I don't know. See here and circles around. You can go back. And the same thing to the south. There's a... Um, the road just stops so I don't know that's the only thing I saw in this area that that was kind of strange although when you go snooping around in the desert there's all kinds of weird things going on but let's see I found this series of earthquakes let me come out a little bit so you can see where I'm at this is the south um, well south-ish odd 
there's a triangle of earthquakes here. And they're about equal distance apart. Yeah, 1.6 on September 10th. They're all about the same, 1.5 on September 10th. And this one is a 1.1 on September 10th. And then there's one little lonely guy down here. 1.5 on September, come on, stay up there. It's September 9th. But also, when all the earthquakes were going on, well, the, uh, it was when the hurricane was going through, that's what it was. Most of them were down in this area, and you can see that we've got some going on still, but right, over here, right in the middle of the sea, Salton Sea here, well, not in the middle, but right there, there's a whole lot of them. And they're only, well, if, if I get my little ruler thing out, and I can go from here to here, and you can see it's just about one and a, one and a third mile wide, pod of them where they're going off. And I, found, I thought that was kind of interesting. Also, the only connection I could see to Riverside, because they were thinking it's the Salton Sea, is that it's kind of a valley that comes around. So come right around here. This is a, a low-lying area. And I don't know what was happening on Monday, so because it's you know Tuesday night. So and I'm going to go back to College to Page, and I'll just kind of show you the other loops going on in this area. We, it is kind of odd in that we've got these clouds just rising up, kind of release and move out. Here's the Salton Sea right here. Riverside is out here. You can turn on the counties. And then this is visible. This loop doesn't contain much of what I was showing you earlier because I, I had the big loop, so it was going back quite a ways. Here's the United States, and there is something interesting in that. Let's go back to it here. Right here we get this, what I call longitudinal wave signature. It's coming down here, and it actually goes further in. You just can't see it. You see it's coming down here. You can see it's kind of light in here. It continues, it continues on through. It's just kind of hidden, kind of hidden, very hidden. Um, when I start this, make sure we're going forward. You can see this cloud just stays right here for quite a while. And then once that longitudinal wave signature comes in, it releases and moves down and almost goes into a circle. Slow it down just a touch. So you watch down here, and I'll tell you when it hits. Now, you can see it just moves on down. And also we have some right by the, the Salton Sea too, that one that's hanging out by Mecca. That's at 11.45 universal time. Well, actually I can go back further and see when it first starts on this, I'm sorry. 8.45 universal time. So that was going well, like a good eight hours just in that spot. See? It's continuing on up and then it moves away. And let's see if I can get a time on the longitudinal wave signature. And then I'll play it through for you after that. I hope I answered your other question too. I was going to, I, when I stop and go on, I tend to forget to go back. That happened at 1345 universal time. So that was kind of right towards the beginning, well, or in the middle of when that cloud is rising up to the north of the Salton Sea. So I'll just go ahead and let this play through a couple times. So I'm, we might be getting this smell up here as these clouds seem to be going that way. So anyway, that's everything. God bless you. Have a good rest of the night.